Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 8-box OPS basketball mixer random team number 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com um, That's the Optic Prism Select basketball mixer featuring all of these boxes right here. Thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Appreciate it. And all teams are in. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Snake Eyes. Two times. Easy. One and two. Big Boys 007. Down to DMAC. Snake Eyes for the teams. One, two. Easy. After two times, Sacramento Kings down to the Phoenix Suns. All right, so Big Boys 007, Dave, you have the Sacramento Kings, Last Bob Mojo, Michael Koontz with the Wizards, Daniel Maley with the Heat, David Bruins with the Spurs, Chris Maxwell, you got the Raptors, Rich with the Hornets, Drew with the Celtics, Daniel with the Bucks, Anthony with the Thunder, Troy with the Magic, Brock, Magic upsetting the Raptors just a few minutes ago, uh, Brock with the Utah Jazz, Matt Stone with the Cavs, Tony with the Pistons, Tommy with the Pacers. Michael Gabba, you got the Golden State Warriors. Big Boys 007, Pelicans. Hawks for Rich. Nuggets for Johnny. Uh, Bulls for Brock. Greg with my Lakers. Rich with the Nuggets, who also upset the Sixers today. So a couple upsets already. There's the Sixers right there. Brock with the Sixers. Jay with the Blazers. Mark with the Rockets. Joseph Russell with the Grizz. Tim Martin, you got the Knicks. Garrett with the Clip Show. Anthony with the Mavs. Drew with the T-Wolves. And DMAC with the Phoenix Suns. All right, let's print this out. No one's trading, right? Is anyone going to trade? We'll give it a few minutes. A few minutes, a few seconds. Not a few minutes. No one has a few minutes. Here are the boxes that we have here. So a, a wide variety of stuff. Got some fast break. We got some select. Got some of this guy. We got some of that guy. Some of these guys right here. So a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, Rich is good. He got the Hawks. He's got the team he wants. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No one's trading, right? No one trades in these things. No one trades. It's too scary to trade. I wouldn't trade. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Well, there it is. Here's the official printout. Good luck. Did I not write the the date properly on there? What's going on here? All right, it's, it's correct on the spreadsheet now. <laughs> Gotta get the the day of the week on there. All right, good luck. That's the list. All right, we're gonna start with this box down here. There it is, right in front of me. I'm losing my mind, folks. All right, good luck, boys and girls. The Nets beat the Sixers 111 to 102, ladies and gentlemen. What? What an upset. So Brooklyn steals a game in Philadelphia. That makes it an interesting series, boys and girls. Nice. Curtis Gardner. Opened up his two boxes from the March Madness break that we had at jazbeescasebreaks.com. And you got a Jason Tatum autograph from fast from the fast break box that you got. Nice. Congrats. That is awesome.
Yeah. Who was who was doing who was doing work here? D'Angelo Russell had 26 points, four assists, and a few rebounds. Spencer Dinwiddie with 18 points. Ed Davis with 12 points. Damari Carroll, Joe Harris, both in double digits as well. Ed Davis with 16 rebounds. A lot of rebounds. There, Karis Levert with 23 points. He had he had a plus minus a plus 18 today. Second highest on the team next to. Next to Ed Davis, who had a plus 28. Wow. Um, David Bruins. I only see you with one spot in this brig. Hang on a second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me figure this out. Um, I only see you with one, David. You bought one spot. This is uh, this is mixer two. Are you sure you're not confusing possibly with mixer one? If you were in that one, I saw you place an order for one spot here 25 minutes ago. Two one six. I have two two four three seven. Uh, 21647 was mixer number one. This is mixer number two. All right. Good luck, everybody. So let's see who is doing work for... So what happened with the Sixers? What was going on with them? Well, Jimmy Butler went off for 36 points. Joel Embiid had 22 points. This plus minus was minus 17. It just doesn't seem right. He's probably still got a bit of a knee injury going on there. I don't think Ben Simmons really did anything today. Some Seven rebounds. A few assists. A few blocks. So he's, he was doing some other work, but... We're gonna need maybe a little bit more scoring from from Ben Simmons. Not much else going on. I think JJ Redick had a rough game too. Only five, one for four from three. Now there could be, you know, if you if you subscribe to the zigzag theory, you know, a hey, Nets one. So Sixers definitely win game two. Yeah, no, Tobias Harris only had four points, Frankie. Four points, seven rebounds, six assists, one steal. It wasn't horrible, yeah. But it wasn't wasn't what you expect out of Tobias Harris. Yeah, a little T saying Reddick needs to step up. Well, they, they got to try to... I mean, Joel Embiid only played 24 minutes. He got 22 points in 24 minutes? Wow. But he still... Maybe some injuries there. Lingering. Well, Brooklyn is happy. They're playing with house money now. You know, they stole they stole a game. And now Playing with house money, they can play aggressive in game two. And then they go back home for a few. And that could be huge right there, too. This could be a six or seven game series, folks. Although I think the first round needs really needs to really needs to go back to being five games. I feel like seven games for first round series are too long. But they'll never. T the NBA will never take away those games. Give up that money. All right. Good luck, everybody.
Do you think where D'Angelo Russell would have been better, any better, if he stayed in L.A.? Actually, there's a lot of Lakers fans out here, Frank, who are like, oh, I wish we would have kept D'Lo, man, you know, and all that stuff. But I think, I think, I think he needed to, to be moved, you know what I mean? Because I think that kind of, that kind of helped him maybe grow up a little bit. You know, and he was like, oh, dang, I just got traded, you know, like, oh, I got to set my game up. You know, I got to work harder. I got to do this. I got to do that if I want to be, you know, no one wants to be traded that early in your career from the team that drafted you. You know what I mean? So I think that I think that creates a bit of a chip on the shoulder. And I think the new environment kind of puts him in a better spot. And he knows right, and Lil Tease is right. He knows that he's kind of not going anywhere in Brooklyn. You know? In L.A., he's always going to be part of trade rumors. You know? Package up package up, uh, D'Angelo Russell and uh, Brandon Ingram for Anthony Davis. You know, it's going to be that for months and months and months, you know? Right, yeah, the whole Swaggy P thing was was kind of ridiculous as well. All right, so there you go. So you got some nice green parallels I'll be sent out to you from this set. This is a retail set. What's cool about the retail set are these. It's the uh, red, white, and blue cards, which will all ship. These, these are the fun ones here. Yeah, he's basically the face of the Nets. Now, I like that Nets team. I really do. Brandon, what's going on? You know, obviously, D'Angelo Russell being a former Laker, you know, is always, uh, you know, I'm always going to keep an eye on that kid. Um, I want to say, I want to say Ed Davis. Ed Davis was like a Laker for half a second. So there's a couple Lakers on that team. Um, and I really, I really like, uh, I really like Jared Allen. I, I think he didn't, he didn't have a good game today. Uh, he only played ten minutes today. Um, but did he get injured? I like his, uh, you know, he plays a lot of great defense, prides himself on blocks and defense, and uh, and just unleashes a monster dunk every once in a while. So I really like it. I'm not sure if in a seven game series if they're going to get past the Sixers unless. Embiid is seriously injured, but um, but I think I think especially in the East, I think they're going to look pretty good. They're going to look pretty good in the East. You know, they they might be in the East. They might be a perennial playoff team. And if they get lucky enough to snag like a decent free agent or something like that, you know, get lucky with a with a late first round draft pick. You know, all of a sudden, next thing you know, the Brooklyn Nets. All right, so we got that retail box out of the way. Let's go back in time to 2016-17. I think that's the oldest box we have right now. And that is 16-17 Select Basketball. So put yourself in. There's Magic Johnson. Saw another upset today, folks. The Orlando Magic in a game that was going back and forth. Orlando Magic beat the Raptors in Toronto 104-101. to We were talking about this throughout the week. You know, Orlando Magic has have been giant killers, so they're not afraid of 
teams like the Raptors. You know, there's no intimidation there. They've beat them before. This was a well-balanced game for the for the Orlando Magic. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players in double digits. Aaron Gordon, 10 points. Jonathan Isaac, 11 points. Vucevic, 11 points. DJ Augustine at 25 points. Fournier, 16 points. Michael Carter-Williams, 10 points. Ross at 10 points. It's a very balanced... Balanced scoring output from everybody. 10 rebounds for Aaron Gordon. Augustine had 6 assists as well. So that could be an interesting team. They steal, they steal a game. And Orlando could suddenly be like, hey, maybe we can make this a 6, six, six or 7 game series. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, dust, dust off your DJ Augustine rookie cards. Oh, speaking of rookies, that's a nice one right there. Ben Simmons, rookie. Since his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, so consequently all of his base cards and parallels and whatnot in, um, in Panini sets have become very valuable. So if this was like a refractor, it would be even more valuable, but it's still cool for Brock. Yeah, the whole Magic Johnson upsets me too. Uh... I, although, I can't say, sorry, points, we'll randomize. Uh, you know, I don't think he's cut out for that kind of job, if you know what I mean. You know, he's a good, he's a good, like, fundraiser, right? He's a philanthropist, you know? He's a, he's a good, he's a good ambassador to the game. Right? That's great. You know, there's D'Angelo Russell, Lakers edition, tie-dye. So, right. Coach, kind of quit. President of basketball operations, bailed. You know, magic, the magic show, TV show, eh, not so good. <laughs> he, I mean, he's really just a face for the Dodgers. He's, I think his ownership is probably like maybe 1% at most. But, but he is great in many different ways. Just maybe not kind of operationally. Because Magic Johnson's long been like, hey, if it's not fun, I don't want to. I don't feel like doing it. Well, it's a nice hit right there, Malcolm Brogdon, out of ten bucks. It's going to go to Daniel Maley. Magic Johnson's like, yeah, it's not fun anymore. I don't want to do it. He's like, yeah, Magic, it's hard work being president of basketball operations. Yeah, you got to grind. You got to go to G League games. You got to scout college kids. You got to recruit players. You got to go do the day to day. Learn the contract. Learn the tampering rules. You know, you got, you know. But I think Magic Johnson's like, eh, it's too much work. I just want to be Magic. <laughs> it's like, all right, you be you. Nice Reggie Jackson die cut autograph, which is fine. We need him to, you know, raise awareness and raise funds. He's great at that. You know, like, just live, just be magic. Just live your life, man. 52 out of 60 on that one for the Detroit Pistons. Tony Barkey. But, yeah, the way he exited, I, I don't think is really, is really that impressive. You know what I mean? He didn't even tell Jeannie Buss. He just called a press conference. And just rambled for 45 minutes. There's Iguodala. And said he was out. 7 out of 10. For the Warriors, that's for Michael Gabay, which seemed kind of weird. Speaking of the Warriors, Clippers Warriors about to tip off in about 17 minutes from now. If you're watching live, all right. So that was 16, 17 select. Now let's move on to the next year, which is 17, 18 stuff, which is 17, 18 Donner's Optic Fast Break. And we'll save these points and we'll randomize these at the end. Um, winner take all the points. So if there's more points that happen to pop out of here, we'll just add it to that pile right there. There it is. There's fast break, 1718. Now it's been a day of upsets, ladies and gentlemen. Can the Clippers beat the Warriors? Game one in Golden State. 
In Oakland? I mean, Clippers are a pretty well-balanced team. Well-coached, well-balanced. Obviously, Golden State's Golden State, but I don't know. Today, today feels like a weird day. Upset day? Gilo would be so happy if they did. I guess I'd be okay with it. They're still an LA team. Gotta support the city. If LBJ doesn't get a win, uh, like get LA to the West Conference Finals or the Finals, is, is having him as Laker a bust in your opinion? Asks Frankie. Yes. I think so. I mean, why do you bring, why, why do you, listen, everyone, everyone knows two things, right? LeBron is an incredible basketball player, like top five all time, right? Easy. Some may argue even top two all time, right? Easy. But well, we also know that LeBron James, bit of a circus in your organization, you know, could, could, is a bit of a hassle, but everyone knows this going into it, right? So if you take the, the time and the trouble to, to, to have LeBron come all the way out here, although LeBron's kind of in a position where if he says, I want to go to your team, 99% of the teams are going to be like, okay. <laughs> but if you know that going in and you take the challenge of, of having LeBron on your team, um, you got to uh, you got to be able to adjust to all of that. You know, you got to be able to be like, okay, let's 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 do let's construct a team around LeBron that could get you to the finals. You know, Lakers have deep pockets. They should have made smarter moves, but that's on Magic and Rob Palenka. You don't understand why LBJ went to the West. I I understand. His kids are in a really nice private school out here that they really like. And he wants to make movies. He wants to make Space Jam 2, G-Lo. First autograph is Wes Owundu, rated rookie autograph. So he's in Hollywood. You know, right, exactly, a little tease. A lot, a lot of other business opportunities out here as well. That goes to the Orlando Magic, Troy Smith. With the Orlando Magic, this Marcin Gortat to 50. There's Al Farouk Aminu to 155. There's Terrence Ross. There he is to 199. Great day for the Orlando Magic. The plot twist of Space Jam 2 that he loses to the finals to the Monstars? No, the plot twist is he goes to the Monstars. <laughs> that he plays for the Monstars. I'm taking my talents to the Monstars. All right, that was 17-18 Panini Donner's Optic Fast Break. And then now let's do 17-18 Panini Donner's Optic. Regular. Garrett Kerr said LeBron came from Mo Wagner, yeah. Ooh, Mo? Yeah, I saw him in Michigan. There has been rumors that uh that LeBron has had trouble uh LeBron has had trouble recruiting basketball players for Space Jam too. In a sort of life mirroring art situation. All right, next one.
Patrick Kane says no. No, he loses to the Monstars, and then Jordan has to come and save him. There's no way LeBron's making that movie. Wait, I think we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Um, has anyone seen Space Jam recently? Like recently, as in like the la within like the last year. And if so, does it hold up? I feel like I feel like everyone talks about Space Jam. I feel like everyone talks about Space Jam as um, with a lot of love for Space Jam. But is that just nostalgia, or is it actually still is it actually good? Or was it never really good in the first place, but everyone just likes it because it's Jordan and Looney Tunes characters? I haven't seen that. I, I, I'm surprised that it's not on like, on like Netflix or Hulu or I, I, I think you have to rent it on like Amazon Prime. I think it's like four bucks, but still. Frankie's watched it a couple years ago and it says it doesn't hold up well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you think of it, it's just kind of a vanity project, right, for Michael Jordan, and a vehicle, and it's like a vehicle to, to, to drive, you know, more modern attention back to Looney Tunes. Drew Kerr says watched it a while back. Was still a fan. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Drew was saying, well, it's never a great movie. It's just funny. Oh, Bill Murray makes me. That's right. Bill Murray is in there. All right, I, I might have to watch. Maybe we need, we need to start a Jaspie's movie club. We'll all watch a movie a week, and then we'll discuss it the next day. We've got Rated Rookie, Ante Zizic, to 99. And Markel Fultz is your rated rookie autograph. Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is still Sixers edition, obviously. Brock Pear with the Sixers. He got traded to the Orlando Magic. All right, I don't think he's going to be playing this season or the postseason. But, I mean, this is the high, this is number one overall pick, right? So, I mean, he's still got some talent. If he gets that shot right, and if whatever injuries he is or isn't carrying, whatever injuries he has, if he can get that together, that could be a great pickup for the Orlando Magic. And like a crazy, like a Fox smart move. There's LeBron to 175. He heard us talking about him. His ears were burning. We got Jamal Murray, Lime Green, for the Nuggets to 175. Johnny V, we'll see him in action tonight. There's Jordan Bell to one. Is he still on the he's still on the Warriors? I'm not sure if he's gonna get minutes tonight. Alright, nice box there. All right, I think the rest of this stuff is eighteen nineteen stuff. Yeah, I think we're I think we're now in the modern the modern day the the today. So let's do this little guy first. Wait, what? Drew Kerr has got some info for us. You're you're not kidding. He says it's not made up. Jordan Bell allegedly isn't getting minutes because he charged a candle to an assistant coach's hotel room? That's, that's, that's an offense that creates a reduction in minutes? Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Drew Kerr saying, no, no, no. He's saying, apparently, he's been charging things to players' rooms all season long. 
and he gave the wrong room, and it was the coach's room. Give that man some minutes. He's clearly bored. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing, Will. Give him something to do. Ooh. Nice. Sensational swatches. I thought it was going to be an autograph for a second. Marvin Bagley. That goes to Big Boys 007. Last spot, Mojo. Kings. All right. Nice relic, though. Wish we saw the Kings in the playoffs. That would have been fun. There's David Robinson. That parallel is exclusive to this blaster box. All right, let's stay with, let's go this. Then I'm gonna do optic, then we'll close out with select. Who do I think is gonna win the finals? I don't know. We're not even out of the first round yet. Let's stay in the moment for a bit. Let's stay in the moment. Let's worry about the final. Let's worry about the first round first before we worry about who's gonna win the finals. I mean, it's probably gonna be. With all that being said, it's probably gonna be what we think it's gonna be, right? Warriors, Rockets, Bucks, Raptors, one of those guys. <laughs> Dylan Perkins, what's next? I got you. Schedule's in the chat. Boom! Right now we're doing the eight box OPS basketball mixer. Coming up after that, we might be a little ahead of schedule actually. Um, Black Diamond Hockey, then after that, Honors Random Team 3, then after that, I don't know. Something else must have sold out after that, right? Maybe the Brown Spot Random? Um. No, it looks like we still have 11 left in the brown spot random. I don't think anything else is sold out yet. Yeah, nothing sold out yet, so there it is. Um, yeah, they could, Brian. They definitely could. Have I read about, Frankie's asking if I've read about how, how much money sports books could lose if Tiger wins the Masters. No, but I do know that Tiger Woods is always heavily bet. Uh, everyone still just bet. He's a public favorite, so everyone bets Tiger all the time. And because, you know, he's older, he's coming off injuries, he's not the Tiger of old, you know, so there's always a decent amount of, he, he always gets decent odds. So there you go. Dylan saying, not a hockey guy. Not spending 25 bucks for a random on a car that might not hit. All right, then don't. <laughs> we got plenty of other options on the site, Dylan. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't buy it. No one's forcing you to. There's Elia Kobu. And we got Cody Zeller, Charlotte Hornets auto, going to Rich Schmidt. There you go, Rich. That is kind of crazy, Brian. We, he's saying we could have three MVPs in, in major sports in one calendar year. Yelich, Giannis, and possibly Aaron Rodgers could do it too. He's, he's always a possibility. So one place is on the line for a million bucks on an $85,000 bet. 
I want to. I want. The, I want that level of dis disposable income where I could drop eighty five thousand dollars on Tiger to win the Masters. I mean, that is that is definitely a scared money don't make money kind of move right there. There's D Wade Green. FanDuel has a tournament. If Tiger wins, they refund everyone's entry. Prize pool of a million dollars. Wait, Drew's saying it's an 850000 I mean, still. Okay, I'd like to have an $850,000 to spend on, on Tiger Woods to win the Masters. All right, let's go with this one right here. Optic. Little T says, I just saw a guy drop 5000 on the Browns to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, Browns hype, Browns hype is pretty it's pretty high right now. All right, I usually don't allow links, Frankie, but for knowledge purposes, I'll, I'll allow that one. Canyon has some football news for us. He, he, heard, he hears that the Cardinals, Arizona football Cardinals, are falling in love with Bosa and aren't so sure with Murray anymore with the number one pick. With that being said, do you think that my Raiders take Murray at four or does he, he drop to the Giants? If I'm the Cardinals, I would take Nick Bosa and just stick with Josh Rosen. But Cliff being on that, being the coach of that team, and with and with some Murray connect, Kyler Murray connections, it makes it interesting. Um, I have no idea what the Raiders are going to do. I would like them not to take a quarterback, me personally. But. No, I don't think the Raiders are going to give Cardinals their picks for me. I think, I think like, I think like Mike Mayock or not Mike Mayock, but <laughs> I think like Todd McShay or like, you know, one of those guys or Good Morning Football or whatever. One of those people that we're talking about giving up picks for, for Murray at one. I don't think they're going to do that. That sounds like crazy talk. That's just, that's just clickbait. They're not desperate for a quarterback, so I don't think they're going to overpay for Kyler Murray. If he falls to them, that could be an interesting story. I mean, you could always draft him and always have him just sit behind Derek Carr for a little bit. There's KD, Kevin Durant. Game, game just tipped off. Clippers at Warriors. There's Anthony Hardaway to 49. All right, and there's Gary Trent Jr. Yeah, Redskins need a QB for sure. That's for the Trailblazers. That's going to go to Jay, Jay Tinney with the Trailblazers. So Frankie's saying William Hill, the London-based casino conglomerate that operates. Yeah, they, they operate a lot of stuff. It's like CT Technologies, William Hill, and like maybe one other. 115 sportsbooks in Nevada and other states in the country, blah, 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 accepted an $85,000 bet on Tiger Woods to win the Masters at 14 to 1. $85,000. I would like, uh, well, I'll say, say it again, I'll say it again. Would love to have the disposable income where I can drop 85000 on a guy to win a golf tournament. Yeah, I think it's 85,000. That makes more sense. At 14 to 1 to make that million. There's Luka Doncic. We'll save some of those. There's Clint Capella to 49. All right. 
Right, true. Either way, I mean, it's it's still still a crazy amount of money and a crazy amount of liability for the for the books. But, I mean, is Tiger really going to win the Masters? That's a very sentimental favor. Be a fantastic story if he did. But if I gave you Tiger Woods or the field, what would you take? Field, right? I would. I'm not eighty-five thousand dollar confident. <laughs> All right, last box, eighteen nineteen select basketball. Hey, but guess what? Guess what? I'm going to be watching a lot of golf tomorrow because of Tiger Woods. That's for sure. I mean, I would have watched a little bit of the Masters anyway, but I'll probably pay a little closer attention. You know, with Tiger Woods playing on Sunday. Can you imagine the customer, the guy who, who dropped the $85,000? He's sweating Sunday, right? All right, last box in our eight box OPS basketball mixer, random team two. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us, folks. Thanks for breaking with us. We got a couple breaks coming up right after this. The schedule is in the chat. I don't think at last check, I don't think anything else is sold out after this. But let's check it out. We do want to fill up that Leaf Pearl hockey. A lot of monster hits in there, so give that a shot, folks. Scared money don't make money. And that unlocks our break credit promo as well, our Friday, Saturday night break credit promo. All right, last box. Good luck. Mo Bamba. Nikola Miritich to 299. And there's DeAnthony Melton out of 175. And that'll be for the Phoenix Suns. Darren McKenzie, DMAC, with that die cut. Yeah, Frankie's going to be watching too because of Tiger. Will's asking, did I hear about LeBron not wanting to stay in L.A.? I mean, no, but it seems seems unlikely he would say that. Wait, on what, Drew Kerr? What did I say? 14 out of 49, Detroit Pistons, Tony Barkey. And there's Miles Turner, in-flight signatures, nice. Indiana Pacers, Tommy Tan with the Pacers. Oh, um, I think he's originally a Tribe Called Quest, right? I think it's 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 an old gambling term. <laughs> that that's where I picked it up. Al Farouk Aminu, to seventy-five. And we got Avardis Sabonis for the Portland Trailblazers. Jay Tinney with the Trailblazers. There you go, Jay. Out of one ninety nine. There's Wendell Carter, gold die cut, ten out of ten for Brock and the Bulls. Oh yeah, I guess Sam Presti did say that too, huh? Ten out of ten. What's my favorite product? Will is asking. I don't know. Whatever's not filled up. Leaf Pearl Hockey. That's my favorite product. Gosh, I hope we fill that up. Unlock that break credit tonight, boys and girls. It's on JaspiesCaseRakes.com. Big cut autos in each box. 
Unlock that break credit. Leaf Pearl Hockey. That's my favorite. 250 points. Let's randomize that. I actually do want to do that Leaf Hockey. That Leaf Pearl Hockey. I haven't seen any of it. Not live, anyway. Rich with the Hawks down to Michael Kuntz and the Wizards. Everyone has a shot at the 250 points. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list four, one and a four, five times. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. J. Tenney. There you go. After five times, JT with the with the extra points right here. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break.